All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Today, uh, we're going to continue on using the Google search. I, I just lear learned this actually. Um, I was Before, I was using a calculator only to graph, but now I realize you can actually graph with Google search, and it's actually quite amazing. I'll show you what you can do. Here's a quick um, tutorial or whatnot. Just to show you what you can do. All you could do is uh, just, just write graph and whatever. Let's just go sine x, and it's... Uh, there it is. So this is there's the graph. This is uh, ridiculous. You, you don't even need a calculator ever. Like I I stopped basically using one altogether, and and basically yeah. So you, there's a graph of it. What you could do is um you can either zoom in horizontally. If I click this, I can zoom in. It only zooms in horizontally. And this the values are here. It gives you there. There's uh, zero. This is sine x. Or I could zoom in vertically, which only the vertical axis basically I get smaller and smaller in, in that way. Right, and I'm just scrolling my wheel on my mouse. You could also just press this, press that if you want, or this. And then uh, let's just go here horizontally. You could move it back. And you could drag it here. You could just use the mouse to drag it. So this is very, very good. L let's try another um, equation. All we do is just, just write graph and that. that this is just ridiculous how, <coughs> how useful this can be. Let's go um, even more calm. 1 divided by x, 2 minus x. So there is a graph. This one, you got to zoom out a bit. This one is actually... So it doesn't really matter what the, they can basically graph anything. I haven't seen anything. It can't graph. So basically, there you have this this uh, like, well, this this, uh, this graph with these two asymptotes. Asymptotes are basically undefined um, x values that or y values. This is x asymptote that basically it goes to either infinity. So it see it never touches uh, this x is equal to zero, but because uh, y goes infinity, but yeah, so it even graphs those out, and then you can move it, drag it along. The values are given here, and and whatnot. Well, I'll try another graph, and then then uh, that should be it. Let's just do a simple square root x. Oh, uh, there it is. This is there's zero up to here. Was zero? You can just go to zoom in with the. Zoom in with the horizontal. Drag it. So this is a ridiculous. You could actually zoom into un like it basically almost unlimited. Yeah, you could zoom in very, very, very small in here. And this in here, y is und undefined here. Whenever you go to b beyond this, when x is the every time you move your mouse, the x is is based. Yeah, the x is basically what where your mouse is, and then the y is what the equation will give. So this is all undefined. Let's go to here. This is reaching zero. Let's, uh, let's see if it's zero right there. Let's see what this value is. Yeah, it's approaching zero. Well, so this is uh, just a quick um, tutorial on, on using the, the graph with Google Search. I actually learned this yesterday. This is actually amazing, and um, it's... Uh, in, in addition to what you could also already do with the calculator on the Google search, uh, which I showed in the previous video, and well, hopefully you learned this is a, this is quite fascinating. Well, thanks for uh, watching and uh, tune in for another math easy solution.